John Lennon owned a lot of luxury cars. In fact, his legendary psychedelic Rolls Royce is still around and can often be seen on display. This is the strange story of John Lennon's psychedelic Phantom 5 Rolls Royce. In December of 1964, John Lennon placed an order for a Phantom 5. It was a large, ultra-exclusive saloon car designed for the wealthy and the elite. It represented the pinnacle of luxury and craftsmanship in automotive history. At the time, he already owned a used black and maroon Rolls Royce that he bought in July of 1964. But by December of that year, he decided to buy a new one. Check this out, John Lennon didn't even have a driver's license when he ordered it. And it's probably a good thing because he was a poor driver because his mind was always distracted and he had really awful vision. And so a gentleman named Les Anthony was his driver and his bodyguard. Les was paid the equivalent of about 200 bucks per week. The finished Phantom 5, which was the most luxurious Rolls Royce model available at the time, was delivered to John Lennon on June 3rd of 1965. By his request, all exterior parts of the Rolls were painted matte black, except for the distinctive chrome Rolls Royce grille, which remained in its original finish due to the company's policy. The Rolls appeared in newspapers around the world when the Beatles rode the limousine to Buckingham Palace on October 26th of 1965 to receive their MBE honors from Queen Elizabeth II. Later that year, in December of 1965, which was one year after purchasing the Phantom 5, John detailed his vision for customizing his Rolls Royce in a seven-page memo. He wanted one-way, triplex, deep light passenger glass, and a new back seat that could be transformed into a double bed. He wanted oversized ashtrays built into the armrests. John also wanted his Rolls to be fitted with a Philips floating record player which was designed with a suspension system to prevent skipping. Alongside that, he wanted a Philips 8-track tape player, as well as an advanced Sony TV and a large radio telephone. He wanted the entire inside to be decked out in leather upholstery. John also wanted a writing table. Oh, and he wanted a cocktail cabinet with fine wood trim. Oh, he also had a refrigerated cabinet put in the trunk. The Phantom 5 stretches nearly 20 feet in length, and it weighs over 6,600 pounds. It has a 6.23 liter... V8 engine. In the fall of 1966, John spent six weeks in Almeria, Spain, while filming the movie How I Won the War. Les Anthony drove the Phantom 5 to Spain, so that way John could hang out on it between scenes and also to drive him back and forth to the mansion that was rented for him. During his time in Spain, John used to retreat to the car's back seat to smoke marijuana and to compose some songs, including his iconic Strawberry Fields Forever. Unfortunately, the rough sandy roads of the region took a toll on the vehicle, damaging its exhaust system, its underbelly, and the matte black exterior. Although structural repairs were made promptly, John took additional time to contemplate a new paint scheme. The inspiration for the repaint varies in accounts, with some attributing it to his previously decorated gypsy caravan that he bought for his son Julian. And so on April 8th of 1967, John contacted J.P. Fallon Limited for the redesign. He opted for a bright yellow latex base. Local artist Steve Weaver executed the detail paintwork. He charged 290 pounds, which was a figure equating to about $8,000 in 2024. The revamped vehicle, completed by May 25th, 1967, was just before the celebrated Sgt. Pepper's album launch. And so its maiden trip was to Brian Epstein's housewarming and the album release party on May 28th for the Sgt. Pepper's album. A lot of people thought the paint job was awesome, but not everybody. Lennon often shared a tale where an older woman, incensed by the Rolls Royce's psychedelic makeover, chastised him and struck his car with her umbrella. So what do you think? Is the lady hitting the umbrella a true story, or did John make it up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Many Brits felt that John was making a joke out of an iconic British vehicle. People just felt like, how dare you? This is one of those things that you cannot do. 
Somebody once said it was like putting graffiti on Buckingham Palace, that John was just getting close to the nerve of British elegance and British politeness and good British manners. John apparently got bored with the paint job too, and so in 1968, he acquired another Phantom Five, this one in white. And so in 1970, when John moved to New York, he brought his psychedelic Rolls Royce with him, and he lent it out to celebrities like Elton John and Bob Dylan, along with members of the Rolling Stones and the Moody Blues. The car was described by Rolling Stone as, quote, a lurid Romany floral Zodiac hybrid, end quote. In 1977, John and Yoko donated the car to the Cooper Hewitt Museum in exchange for a $250,000 tax credit. But the IRS wasn't buying it. They repeatedly claimed that the car was worth no more than $100,000 when it was donated. In 1985, the museum sold it at an auction, and it set a record as the most expensive car ever auctioned at that point in time. Canadian businessman Jim Pattison bought the car for nearly two million bucks in 1985, and he later donated it to British Columbia, where it became a part of the Royal British Columbia Museum's collection. The car has since been displayed across North America, including a notable exhibit at the Beatles in Montreal and the Great Eight Phantoms in London. The car's maintenance, especially its fragile latex paint, requires meticulous care, avoiding polishing cloths and using tiny brushes for touch-ups. You see, the car received a base coat of yellow that, interestingly, is standard latex paint, typically used in homes rather than a specialized automotive paint. And so due to the paint's delicate nature, museum caretakers handle the vehicle with extreme care. Polishing cloths are avoided on its surface in order to prevent damage, and any small areas of paint loss are meticulously restored using fine brushes. To ensure the proper functioning of its moving components, the Royal British Columbia Museum is required to operate the vehicle at minimum once annually. Every operation of the vehicle, including the opening and closing of doors and hoods, as well as engine vibration, poses a risk to the paint's integrity. Maintaining John's former Rolls Royce has required a careful balance between ensuring the mechanical components function smoothly and protecting its fragile paintwork. You see, the vehicle had been left unattended for extended periods without the necessary upkeep, which led to the carburetors becoming blocked with stale fuel. Despite challenges, including electrical and brake system work, and the neglected fuel system that was restored in 2020, the car remains in pristine condition. These days, John Lennon's psychedelic Phantom 5 Rolls Royce is worth upwards of $5 million. So, what do you think of John Lennon's psychedelic Rolls Royce? If you were rolling in dough, would you drive around in a car like that? Thank you for joining me on this time travel adventure to check out John Lennon's Rolls Royce. Kindly remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, because there will be more shows like this one, and I hope you check those out too. Please check out the links below to learn how to support my research and productions. You can also join me on Patreon or become a member of this channel. You could also leave a super thanks in the comments below, and you could even buy me a cup of coffee. Kindly be kind to all non-human animals, and please don't eat them. They don't like that. Remember, for the benefit of compassion for all living things and their own health, All the Beatles chose a plant-based diet. Please do yourself a favor and go to a local shelter and adopt a cat or a dog or both. You and they will be very glad that you did. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys. 